Today we'll continue our treatment of geostatistics and focus on spatial prediction. We'll cover four different topics, which really divide into two parts. The first part, we focus on theoretical models to um, specify the change in the variogram with distance. And these are called variogram models. And we'll focus in particular on the spherical model and the exponential model which are the most used in practice. And then we will look at how we actually fit the parameters to this model. So we'll either fit the variogram cloud or, more importantly, we'll, you, we'll see how we can fit these different specifications to the empirical variogram. Then with the parameters in hand, we move to the actual prediction, which is called creaking in the geostatistical world. We start with some theory, where does this come from in terms of a best linear and biased predictor, what is the predictor itself, what is its variance, and then how can we visual, visualize that in, in a map. And then uh, finally we deal with some practical issues um, involved in um, actually doing this with real data like determining the creaking neighborhood and cross-validation. In terms of readings, uh, there's actually a large number of appropriate readings. There are whole textbooks devoted to this. Uh, there's just some examples in the handout. And most spatial statistics texts also have several chapters devoted to geostatistics and creaking. And there are just some examples. I've also included a very readable set of class notes that I found on the web. Um, and um, there's also, more specifically related to the software, a vignette by Edsard Pabisma dealing with the application of GSTAT in creaking. Um, and then finally, if you want a more technical treatment, a little more advanced in terms of art skills, there's material in Chapter 8 of the Bivant and All book.